Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this functional equation 3 times f of x plus 4x times f of 1 over x equals to 5x minus 6. And now we are going to find the value of f of x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and we know that we want to find the value of f of x. So therefore we are going to somehow eliminate this part which is f of 1 over x. And first of all let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 1. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and replace x by 1 over x in this equation 1. We usually use this trick in such kind of functional equations. In other words, I am going to replace x by 1 over x. Just flip it over. And likewise, wherever we see 1 over x, we are going to flip it over. And that is simply is going to become x. So therefore our equation 1 is going to become 3 times f of 1 over x plus 4 times this x becomes 1 over x and then times f of 1 over x is simply is going to become x equals to on the right hand side that is going to become 5 times 1 over x minus 6. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 2. And now our task is to eliminate this f of 1 over x somehow. So therefore we are going to use the elimination method. So therefore we are going to multiply this equation 1 by negative 3. Let's go ahead and multiply this equation 1 by negative 3. So that is going to give us negative 9 times f of x. And when we multiply the next that's going to give us negative 12 x f of 1 over x equals to on the right hand side that is going to give us negative 15 x plus 18. And we are going to multiply this equation 2 by 4x on both sides. So let's go ahead and multiply. So 3 times 4x is going to give us 12x f of 1 over x. And then 4 times 4 is going to become positive 16. x times 1 over x they cancel each other out. So we simply got f of x equal to on the right hand side 5 times 4 is 20 and x and 1 over x cancels out minus 24 x and now let's go ahead and add these two equations and here I have copied down both of these equations and now let's go ahead and add them so this negative 12 x f of 1 over x and this 12 x f of 1 over x they are gone so therefore on the left hand side we are just ended up with the 7 times f of x equal to on the right hand side is going to be negative 39 x plus 38. And now since we want to isolate this f of x let's go ahead and divide across the board by 7. I am going to divide 7 by every term. And we can see that this 7 and 7 they cancel each other out. So we ended up with the f of x equals to on the right hand side negative 39 divided by 7 times x plus 38 divided by 7. And that is our answer. So thus our function f of x turns out to be equal to negative 39 x divided by 7 plus 38 divided by 7 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.